What's going on this? IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last. An unfamiliar face at this point. Lennox Clark, mate. It has been a while. Good to see you, brother. How you been? Yeah, man, I'm back, man. I'm back. Um, finally. Uh, we're here now. Saturday night showtime again. 14 months since um, that night behind closed doors at the Copper Box where you'll fight again, of course, on Saturday. Um, do you kind of just want to timeline the events between then and now? Because a lot of people will be looking at this and thinking off the back of a win like that, kind of why has there been inactivity? So if you can just kind of timeline for us yeah. where, where the 40 months have gone, please, mate. Yeah, mate, uh, been a very frustrating time for me. Uh, beating Willie in such a good way. Was meant to defend on the 16th of uh, August in Telford, local to where I'm from. And uh, I, I picked up a, a fractured rib. I started to pull out of that fight. Um, then we was getting ready for the 6th of November in Birmingham and uh, walking my dog on a rest day. Boom, snapped my ankle in two places. So I had a year of uh, just being injured and being out, frustrated, um, you know, and then the back end of the year, I had my uh, newly born daughter, Nova, and uh, I just frustrated from boxing, just, boxing, just sat down with my family and enjoyed myself whilst doing rehab. So it's a bit of family time towards the end, but it's just, it's just been a frustrating time for me. Um, yeah. Was it always going to be a return to boxing for you? Like you said, you sat there and there was frustration about the fact that you had these two pull-outs, then obviously some time with your family. But was it always going to be a return to boxing for yourself and, and no other part? Yeah, I mean, at uh, some points, I didn't know whether I was coming back, believe it or not, because of the bad luck. I think it's ever really going to happen for me, you know, like having that nearly win against Laurel and then beating him and then getting set back with injuries. You just think, is my time going to come? But, um, you know, Saturday night is my time and it is going to come. I've got full belief in myself, full confidence. And, uh, you know, me and Mark got the chemistry to make a fight of the year. And um, I'm confident I want to get the win. We know how you approach fights anyway. You go in there and you don't let the other person breathe. You go in there, you give it pretty much everything. Are we going to see like that with just a kind of a tinge of more anger simply to get these 40 months of frustration out? Because like I said, we know what you fight like. Built up with this anger, are we going to see a seriously destructive Lennox Clark? Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, you can't really change me. You can't really ramp me up anymore. Um, you know, what I do do, I, I do it 110%. And uh, when I'm in that ring, I've trained for <coughs> hard 12 rounds. So, you know, I'm prepared for anything that he's going to bring. And uh, as I keep saying, I've got full belief and confidence in my, uh, obviously, in me getting the victory. What is it about you and Mark that makes it a fight that you say uh, will, will clash brilliantly? The boys up there at the press conference were saying it, it's going to clash. Everyone believes it will. No one believes this fight is going to be a shit fight, realistically. So what is it that makes you two kind of perfect to, to gel? Yeah, um, I think we're both aggressive fighters. Um, you know, we're quite similar in the way we approach fights. We go out there and like to uh, stamp our authority. But um, yeah, man, um, you know, I do respect Mark F as a fighter. And he has got my full respect and he has had it all through the training camp. Um, you know, it's going to be a hell of a fight and that's what we can uh, definitely assure the fans. Have you two shared round together? I believe you have, have you not? No, 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 uh, we haven't, no. <coughs> um, we haven't. We're inspired. We've just had our names bouncing off each other for a few years. Um, just never been made and uh, here we are, it's been made and Saturday night's the day. Obviously tunnel vision for Mark, but... You know what we're like. We like to think about potential of what could be beyond and whatnot. Because of the time that we spoke about, have you, do you kind of feel like you've got time to make up for? Is it potentially beat Mark and move on to something really, really big, potentially European? Because, you know, you know what level yeah, you're at. Um, really, this is a fight above British level, possibly. Possibly, yeah, possibly. Um, it's hard for me to look past at this point. Um, you know, onwards and upwards after this, that's all I can say. But, you know, I'm not taking my eyes off what's going on Saturday night. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.